I'm Tricia, a California organic gardener. As my husband and partner Eric always says, you've got to have the best tools if you want the job done right. Today I'm going to give you some tips on how to maintain your quality tools to improve their performance and prolong their life. After using any of your long-handled tools, be sure and wash them well, spray them with water, get rid of any caked dirt or mud. Always be sure and wear your protective equipment when servicing any of your tools. An ordinary barbecue grill brush works great for any kind of caked mud that might be left on your tools. Never put your tools away without cleaning off any caked mud. Once your tool is clean, you can use a vegetable-based cooking spray to prevent rust. For tools that come in contact with your soil, we recommend a vegetable spray as opposed to a petroleum-based oil spray that may pollute your soil. To keep the joints lubricated like on the stirrup hoe, we recommend the Felco Biodegradable Lubricant. To take care of the wood handles and keep them smooth, use a sanding sponge. This can be washed and reused as compared to sandpaper that you would throw away. After sanding, rub the handle with a natural-based oil. And remember that some oil-soaked rags can spontaneously combust. Read the label. Sharpen your shovels. Sharpening your shovels will reduce the amount of work that your body has to do and let the shovel do more. To sharpen your shovels, use, and it's really called this, a bastard file. Sharpen at a 45 degree angle, don't over sharpen, and then top it off with a little bit of vegetable oil. Then your shovel's ready for the shed. It's important to keep your pruning tools clean. Clean, sharp pruning tools make cleaner cuts and help prevent spreading disease. To sharpen the pruners or the loppers, we're only going to sharpen the edge that looks like a blade. This part and this part are not blades. Holding the pruners like so, take the sharpener and follow the factory bevel like this about four or five times. You'll see the blade start to shine up as it gets sharpened. Turn it over and remove the burr. It's basically the same procedure with the loppers as with the pruners, but you might want to use a vise or have a friend hold the loppers for you and remove the burr. Check the bolts, nuts, and any moving parts on your pruners and loppers. Tighten anything that's loose and order any replacement parts that you might need. Then you want to spray with the Felco spray to lubricate. This spray by Felco is my favorite for cleaning and lubricating pruners, and you should use it after each time you prune. After cleaning, store your tools inside, either upright or hanging, and they'll be ready for you for the next season or the next printing session, which for me is going to be in the next couple weeks. So use the best tools to get the job done and grow organic for life.